Here it is, folks, from the BBC, the great BBC, a letter that I don't need, but they think I do need this letter. A letter saying, a letter saying, I'm under investigation, folks. Investigation for not having a TV license in 2024, is it? In 2027, when this new charter comes up, I hope the public out there, this, this, this stuff will end. With the public saying, no, thank you very much. No more threatening letters to your house when you become license free like Inspector C. This is out of date by the BBC having the right to do this to every household. I already told them two years ago and last four years by doing the, 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 the um, declaration, I don't need a license. But they say I do. There's not even, if you see there, there's not even who is in the premises. And that's the excuse they're using. They don't know who is in there. But I've already told them two years ago and a year ago, renewed my uh, exemption. Uh, I'm not watching, I'm not paying. But they don't listen to you. They couldn't care less. Because all you is as a household, that you can give a cash cow to them to give them money. And they keep intimidating by sending these letters to you. I haven't opened it yet because I could just throw it away. Because it means nothing. It's like you having a car license. If I drive a car, I have to have a license. I'm in this car now. I have to have a license to drive it. I have to have insurance. But if you don't drive, do I need a license? No. Anybody who doesn't drive a car, you don't need a license. If you're going to learn to drive a car, then obviously you have to apply for a license. So the license is is a, is a monopoly by the BBC, which is slowly losing its its credibility because half a million people are not paying for it anymore because they don't need to. They can watch other things without having to have a license. In the letter, I haven't opened it, but I will go through it with you because it's, it's just try to scaremonger you. Now, if the next one comes, the next one of this is a red one. Um, it's going to be the final warning, the final countdown, that kind of stuff. You know, they're going to come out, because they're not going to come out to this. They're going to sky and skate and make you pay another, you know, trying to frighten you and uh, make you pay again. You know, what you paid, they don't care. They couldn't care less what you do. And like I said, that's what they're using. They're using a, it's same with the council tax and other, other things. It's a computerized letter. Once you start paying, you get them sent to you. Get them sent to you, folks. And like I said to you before, <laughs> uh, it's it's a joke, a complete utter joke in this day and age. Anyway, I've got to move out of here now. Um, I have a seatbelt on, folks, and uh, I am driving with the dash cam, which is filming me um, on the dash cam in the car. So I am actually driving the car and being filmed. Anyway, like I said, folks, they're just um, trying to use your situation uh, as becoming licensed free, like Inspector C. And it's, it's, it's wrong, because, like I told you before, if you're not watching, you're not paying. Now, we'll go through the letters together, because everything is documented here on the channel for you. But if you want to become license-free, like myself, and not pay for a license, because you're not watching any live television, um, you're watching catch-up, you're watching YouTube. Now, YouTube, his, they have live streams on there. But it's, it's people like Andy, my friend Andy, my friend uh, um, Absolutely Average. There's Chili John who doesn't do many lives, but you know, he could do a live channel himself. He could uh, have other people doing live um, live stuff. And he's allowed to watch it because they're not a television station. They're not a commercial television station. Unlike the BBC, Channel 4, um, you know, Channel 4, Channel 5, all the, all the commercial TV stations, pay for their, their their stuff by advertisements and the BBC it's time they woke up and, and did the same you know and, and it's 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 absolutely madness folks and I I have actually rang up and told them all this and they still they still don't listen to you and they, I'm guilty now I can tell you in that letter I'm going to be guilty of something but I thought you were guilty to prove innocent in this country you know and, and, and of course what evidence have they got? Whatever I'm doing. 
you know, well, I'm, 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 what am I doing in my house? What, what evidence have they got? They're just surmising because they're legal occupier. They don't know who's in, who's living there. They don't know who's living there, and they're presuming that I'm whoever's in there is watching without paying a license. Now, if it wasn't coming in from terrestrial television, um, nobody could watch it anyway because it'd be encrypted. Like you can't watch Netflix unless you've got an account. You can't watch. Um, Disney because you have to have an account and it's all on the internet the iPlayer I have to sign into the iPlayer I don't watch the iPlayer uh, I've got to sign into it and then they could track you if, if you did sign into it if you were watching illegally but this is the thing about the BBC folks they want everything two ways and, and, and have the, the monopoly to keep going and keep going Sky I could watch Sky tomorrow I could get a Sky account tomorrow we have to pay the BBC for that privilege and folks it's not it shouldn't in this day and age you shouldn't have to pay a, a TV license to watch other other third-party programs like like Sky or uh, Virgin their prop their products you know any other any other things like uh, Paramount and I think Amazon Prime I'm not sure I've got to find this out whether Amazon Prime uh, is, is another thing that you can you can watch Paramount, Disney, um, other other companies are on the internet, and it's time the BBC woke up and did the same. You know, but they want the monopoly. They want this. They're getting six billion pound a year. The license fee people like myself are not paying anymore because they're not watching. They're not paying and on a commercial that uh, kind of thing. They're not watching uh, terrestrial television. <coughs> I mean, you can watch the iPlayer if you are on the iPlayer. You can watch the iPlayer any time you wish. And programs any time, which is great. You know, that's what you want to do. They, they can't pay if you want to pay for a license. You do that. I don't watch. I don't watch BBC. I get all of my information, all my what I want to watch, somewhere else. And the BBC have no right to know this. What, what I do on my home, on my home. Um, you know, they have no evidence at all what I'm doing. Uh, they're not going to come and sit inside my house and say, "Well, uh, can you uh, turn the TV on?" And I say, "Well, what for?" You know what I do in my house. So I don't watch TV. I don't watch the air programs and whatever. So it's a it's a joke, folks. And it's it's time that people stood back and say that this is not on in 2027. If people subscribe to my channel, everybody knows. Like Chili John, Chili John is a great channel. It's absolutely great. He's done a lot to get your freedom. We're not living in Russia. It's not state television. You know, and the monopoly of this live television. It's got to end because you know Netflix is not live it is being transmitted on um, streaming devices on the internet and whether you, the BBC don't own the internet they had a, they had an option when they had when people started paying playing the iPlayer on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on the internet because it was linked to the internet and they told everybody that you you've got to get a license now because they changed that by law that it was on the internet and people were watching BBC on the internet of course of course, now they say you can't do that anymore. Because that, that's another monopoly they just sorted out. So, folks, they just want your money. And you're just a cash cow. Whoever's in there, it could be Prince Charles in there, of course. Yeah, out Charles at Buckingham Palace. You know, Charles at Buckingham Palace, or Fred Dibner or somebody who's probably dead now. Fred, ain't it? And Fred, Fred Bloggs or whatever you want to call it. It, 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 it really pisses me off when, when. You get these letters, but like I say, for the last six years, I've, I've I've had this ring up to tell them, look, I'm not watching your programs. I don't need a license. Thank you very much, and I don't get any anything at all from the, any any uh, aggravation from no letters, no. Uh, that's been fine, but it's only this April when it's happened that of course they're losing so many people. The exemption rule, two-year rule, and it's not supposed to harass you by then. But well, they could come round at any time anyway. They got it both ways, like I say. They can come round whether you tell them you're not watching or not. You can come round, they can come round whenever they feel like it. But when they come round, folks, all the simple thing you've got to do is say, Who are you? What do you, what do you want? And the only thing probably you say that you know, they're saying that uh, this this premises is not licensed. Yes, it's not licensed. You know why? Because it doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be licensed. Like I'm driving this car now. I'm driving this car. I have to have insurance. I have to have a license to drive it. 
that's that's right right I have got them but to watch television in my house just have a television I don't have to have a license for it unless I'm watching the iPlayer or any live television which is their monopoly box when they come to your door just tell them no thank you very much not watching not paying I don't subscribe to your BBC channel after what happened with the Savile stuff and all the rest of it with uh, what's his name um, Hugh Edwards and the just bunch of paedophiles are running the place back in them all up I don't subscribe to the BBC anymore thank you very much goodbye and shut your door and that is the end of it you know they want to come keep harassing you there's only other one option I could do as well of course I need I need some crown funding for that I'd have to have 300 pounds tomorrow go to my solicitor three or four hundred pounds maybe 500 quid now get a letter from him to send to TV licensing the next time you send a letter, it's going to cost you a thousand pound. And if you want to visit my property, visit my property and check. We'll have to have the sister there, the police there, all that. And of course, you're going to be charged by my sister for his time because he would check the place and tell you I don't require a license. So it's going to cost them a thousand pounds. Maybe I will charge them two thousand. I'll charge them a hundred thousand. I don't really care. But I have to do it through civil action. It's a civil action, folks. A civil between me and the BBC and my, my address, right? Which they don't know who's living there. It could be like Prince Charles, yes. Charles, the King of England could be living there, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, King, you know, I'm sorry, it's the King of England. Oh, 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 I could chop your head off if I want, you know, but you're gonna be head chopped off. Anyway, um, if it's the old days. Um, so anyway, Whatever you say to them, folks, they don't want to know. You know, even if I ring them tomorrow and stop all this madness, and they're spending 150 million pounds and paying capita 500 million pounds to collect this license fee, it's a complete and utter joke, mate, folks. And, and, and as soon as everybody out there realizes it becomes the same as Inspector C, the same as Inspector C, like me, if they come arrest me, I'll see you in jail, whatever. They come and arrest me, well, a thousand pound fine. I'm not going to pay a thousand pound fine. No bloody way. I'm not going to pay even two hundred pound fine because I'm not watching. I'm not paying. It's that simple, folks. Anyway, thanks again to all the new people. Sorry about the run, but it's something I feel very strongly about. And that's why I say you've got to get the message across to people. You're doing nothing wrong. Uh, it's not Russia. It's not state television. So I just say to them goodbye and shut your door. That's all we've got to do, folks. And one day, this license fee will be a thing of the past. And I have to get another channel, probably. I don't know. I might do. I've got my other channel, which is comedy. I'm going to develop that a bit more. So anyway, thanks again, everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Oh, yes, I will go through the letter when I uh, go through it. which is just a Mickey Mouse letter. It's just ridiculous. Don't even... There's so many of them. The standard letter, standard letter... Uh, you're under investigation. It's a standard thing. Anyway, folks, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye now.